If you want a line to be dashed or dotted, open the line panel. I drew a path, which has a solid line. Behind type of line, there's a menu with line patterns. I hold my mouse above the menu, and simply scroll downward to see some examples. I prefer to create my own pattern, which gives me more control. So let's have a look, at how to make a pattern. At the bottom of the menu, I click on custom. The black bar represents the dashes. And the white bar, is the distance between the dashes. We see that the black bar, is about twice as long as the white bar. So the dashes, are twice as long as the gaps between them. By dragging the first triangle, you change the length of the black bar, and thus the dashes. You can also scroll in the value bar. And when I click on the second triangle, I see the distance between the triangles. And if you want a more complex pattern, you can add triangles. Now let's place a rectangle. I set its stroke to white, and make the line width 1.5 millimeters. I don't want sharp corners, so I open the shape panel, and round the corners a bit. I set type of line to dashed. At the left we see, that the current dash length doesn't perfectly fit the rectangle. So I go to custom. I want the dashes to be shorter. And to make the dashes fit, I will adjust the gap a bit. You can also adjust the offset. Now let's place some dotted text. I drag a text frame, and type some text. I choose Olio script, and make the text 100 point. I make the text white. To outline the text, I right click, and choose, convert to outlines. The outlined letters are now in a group. So I right click, and choose, ungroup. Now I can make a single object of the outlined letters. To do this, I go to item, path tools, combine polygons. In the colors tab, I set the stroke to white, and the fill to none. I set the line width to 0.3 millimeters. Now let's look at how to create dotted lines. Behind type of line, I choose custom. For strokes, flat caps are used. I can set flat cap to round cap. To get circles, select the value of the first triangle, and press 0. Now only the left and right caps are shown. The line itself is omitted. Added together, the left and right caps create a perfect round circle. With line width, I can make the circles larger and smaller. In the next lecture, we will look at making arrows.